If you live on planet Earth, then you might have heard about this recent controversy with the latest iPhone 6 in series. And no, I'm not speaking about touch issues, which is a thing you can check there. I'm speaking about the refresh rate. There's been a lot of people that are claiming that uh, the ProMotion display inside the latest uh, uh, iPhone 16 Pro series are limiting to 80 Hz, which of course doesn't sound right as the panel is 120. And of course I had to check and decide for myself. So guys, right now here in my right hand, I do have the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And how do we know? Whoop, we have the camera control button. And here I do have my daily driver, the S24 Ultra. Now also guys, if you wanna do this test by yourself, you need to download this application it's called the CPU Dasher. It's full of us, but this is the only way I was able to just get it to work. And inside you have something like a flow bubble, which will register the frame rate. Now let's pause the video for an educational moment and just discuss something to set it straight. There is something off with this thing saying frame rate, but then also showing you hertz. And those things of course are connected. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on the S24 Ultra, the GPU watch, which will give me the current average FPS, which is frame rates per second, and then also, in addition, show the refresh rate, because there is, guys, a very big difference between refresh rate and frames per second. So the one thing measured in Hertz, and this is, for one second, how many images your GPU, your graphic card is able to present on the screen. As to the frames per second or the FPS is how many frames per second your GPU can generate. So let's say you can run a game, you can probably get like 200 frames per second, but then your GPU is gonna be able to just project 60 images in one second. So the refresh rate is gonna be 60 here, so you're probably gonna get 200 frames, but you're not able to see them, right? So these things are interconnected. You can just go and scrap the internet for more information. But I wanted to make this disclaimer before we continue the video. So you're gonna be watching this tool on the iPhone 16 Pro Max and GPU watch showing FPS and also refresh rate on the S24 Ultra. Now let's continue. So the GPU watch is a tool that is inside your developer's option. You can display a bunch of things like frame rate, resolution and other things. I've also decided to enable the show refresh rate and you can see when I start browsing you know it's just 120 and now 24 you see this is the average from the GPU watch and the one in the green is going to be the one in real time and my iPhone oh yeah it dropped to 60 Hertz nah the moment I guys start touching it see it really goes to 120 some people were saying hey you know what this only happens when you go inside and you start to like scroll inside Twitter and when you are like very 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 fast okay when you are doing this very fast you might eventually drop to 60 but not to 80 and it seems that it's 120 it's pretty much the same as my s24 ultra now of course the s24 ultra somehow feels more fluid but i don't see anything that says here uh, 80 hertz i just see everything 120 so i do believe that yeah the promotion display is really 120 guys and you can see with the speed that i'm just trying to do this right I don't think that there is any reason for you to worry. For sure, your iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max, guys, is just fine and it can do 120. And this absolutely can be seen with the very same tool that a lot of the guys are using to just show 80 Hertz. This is me doing the same in YouTube. And as you can see, it is absolutely fluid. Now, of course, it's a tiny bit faster on the S24 Ultra. The whole UI is just snappier and faster. And I'd say not so slow and smooth as the iPhone. But guys, don't you worry. You can see it's 120. And yet again, I'm not 100% sure how exact is this tool, but I'm just using what everybody else is using to show you 80 Hertz and it's just not the case. It's 120. So just stay calm, enjoy your iPhone or your Android phone. And yeah, stuff for the channel. Thank you so much for watching. VST over and bye.